Okay, in the last video, we created um, a basic HTML page, an index page. And what we're going to start to do now is going to use Cascading Style Sheet to add formatting to this page. And we've partly done that already because what we did on the index page was create this link to this main.css page. So what we're going to do in Notepad now is go File, New, I'm going to File, Save As. I'm going to go into the same space, I'm going to go back into my documents, I'm going to go back into the same folder again, and I'm going to call it main.css. Okay, you should see now I've got a main file, and here it says it's a cascading style sheet. And what we want to do now is we want to start to add some formatting to this. If I say that the header, or the biggest header, the header h1, is going to be color colon blue, so blue is the um, property it's going to be and I'm going to do text align and I'm going to say that I want that in the center using the American spelling. I'm using a semicolon after each attribute so they're all separated out and I'm going to close those brackets. A key thing here is if I now want to come back and add additional properties onto H1 like fonts and so on um, then I need to make sure those go into the same brackets. I need to make sure I don't produce additional H1s, otherwise I'll get confused and only read one of them. So I'm going to save that now. And I'm going to click on the index. And if this works, text on the top line should turn blue and should center itself. Okay, so you can see that's worked. Right, now what we want to do is we also want to try change the size. So if we do um, font size, and I put in something like 30 pixels, semicolon, go file, save, refresh that again. Okay, let's try and make this a bit bigger. Make that 50. Let's refresh this a couple of times, and you can see it's growing. Okay, so we're starting to get some effects here. Now, we can carry on doing this fairly easily, so we can apply things to things like the H2. <laughs> the H2 using the HTML code there and making sure that we're using the curvy brackets each time or we can start to do apply things to the paragraph section using the P. But if we want to apply it to a whole section of text, what we need to do is we need to make some division. So the way we're going to do that is we need to go back into our HTML section here and I'm going to put um, a new section around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this is a div a division class and I'm going to call it a main. You can call it whatever you want as long as it's one word. And then I'm going to end the division there. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to reopen my main file and I'm going to do dot main and curvy brackets and just to test this I'm going to do color green and what should happen semicolon curvy brackets save it what should happen is this formatting of main should apply to that whole section I put that nav section around so if this works and I press refresh all the writing in this section should turn green and you can see that's worked okay so this allows us to start to split the page up and add formatting in as well. And we can do other bits with this as well. So if we go back into um, here, we can also do things like we can start to apply background color. And we could do that by applying that to the um, body, because that would be the whole section, or to the main section, although in that case it would be a bit strange. So if I just show you that, if we do something like background color, and we say that that one's going to be blue, just so there's a bit of contrast, or red maybe. So we see a few different colors here. File, save. Okay, so you can see it's now only applying to that section. Whereas if I took that out of there, or just remove that for a second, but instead apply some formatting to the whole of the body section, we say that the body should have a background color, which is red. Not that I particularly love that as a choice, but it will show up quite well. We can go file, save that. We can go refresh. And you can see now the whole page is turned red. It's not looking particularly nice, but it is starting to work as a format. So we've now added 
colour formatting in, we've started to change the size of the text and various other bits on the page to start to make it more interesting. And one of the key things here is because we've created this main.css page, if we now create additional pages, they can pick the same formatting up that this one's done. Okay.